Hi, today I'm reviewing this little beauty. Can you see it? It's Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Oh, who knew, eh? Who knew? Actually, it's a bit of a mashup. So we've got an author here who likes vampires, uh, zombies, that sort of thing. And he likes a bit of history as well, and he's done a bit of a mashup. Uh, it's a cracking book, an easy to read book. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's unput downable. I started on page one and I finished at the end. And I was disappointed that it came to the end, uh, to be honest with you. It was a cracking little read. It is funny, it is uh, bloodthirsty. You start to wonder, you know, that there's a blur between fact and fiction. You start to think, well, maybe, you know, you, you, you know, I like to go to Google while I'm reading books of a historical nature and see if people actually did exist. And this guy's mashup, this guy's intertwining of fact and fiction blurs the lines and makes me think on occasions, in a low moment, you know, is this actually fact? Um, but we'll have a look in a bit more in depth at the book. Um, it's written by someone called Seth Graham Smith. He's also the author of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Um, this is significantly about vampires. Uh, so he may be going through all the genre of uh, these creatures that may or may not exist. It was first published, this one, in 2010 in the US by Grand Central Publishing. And it was first published in the UK in the same year by, by Corsair. This version is a paperback edition, uh, 2012. Where did I pick it up? Well, I picked it up actually in Tesco in Abergelly in North Wales. And they've got a table there where uh, they've got a lot of, they've got like a bucket and you can make a donation, get a book. And I'd seen it stood there a couple of times and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it for a donation of it. Uh, and also see that it was now or is now a major motion picture. Um, anyway, hoo ha, hoo ha, I thought, well, maybe I'll pick it up and have a read. Uh, and one night I picked it up, I went to bed. And I didn't put it down till three o'clock in the, in the morning and I had to get up in the morning. So, um, you know, it's a cracking little read. Highly recommended. What can I tell you about it? What else can I tell you about it? Well, there are actually some, he, he, um, he does actually have some photographs that he uses to sort of uh, confirm the vampire hunter story. Here's one. You can see the good old Abe with Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, but there are others, you know, beside that, there's another one. Um, and it really adds to the whole experience of the read, if you will. You know, you're reading along and suddenly, boom, there's a photograph and then underneath is, uh, you know, is, is sort of explanation of what's going on in the photograph. It starts, uh, it covers Abe's history from probably the age of eight or nine um, and his journey to presidency, whilst at the same time being a vampire hunter. Well, you would, wouldn't you? You'd, you know, you don't want to be anything else. President, yeah, that's fine. Vampire hunter, oh yes. Um, it is beautifully written. It is heartwarming. It is heart-wrenching as well. These were tough times anyway. Um, and and uh, Seth Graham Smith doesn't miss a trick, doesn't miss anything. It is highly recommended. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Well, I won't keep you too long. Um, the number of pages is 336. Um, the prose is fantastic. It, it is not difficult to read. It's like broken up uh, in sections. So, you know, you can read and read and it's like, you just want to go to the next one. Um, it deals with all aspects of his life, historical and you know, into you know, there's the vampire thing, which complements it all. The vampire hunter 
aspect of it knits his life together quite eerily quite spookily really it cost me i mean what's it going to cost you you go on on ebay or something like that you'll pick it up for a few quid and postage um definitely one for the library uh and if you pick it up cheap enough you know you can pass it on hand it back give it away um president by day hunter by night indiana 1818 midnight falls through the dense woods that surround a one-room cabin where a nine-year-old abraham lincoln kneels at his suffering mother's bedside She's been stricken with something the old timers call milk sickness. My baby boy, she whispers before dying. Only later will the grieving Abe learn that his mother's fatal affliction was actually the work of a vampire. Gifted with his legendary height, strength and skill with an axe, Abe sets out on a path of vengeance that will lead him all the way to the White House. Um, look at the cover. Abe... A full moon, an axe. Highly recommended. Get it, read it, love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.